Good afternoon and welcome to this webinar, Easily Evaluate an Expert Dimension on a Topic. Thank you for joining. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Eloise Nodi. I am a product consultant at Expernova. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the question tool on GoToWebinar and I will answer at the end. If I don't have enough time to answer your question, we will come back to you with personalized answers. You can also contact us by email on the following address, contact at expernova.com. So let's start this webinar. So today I will take you through a common use case demonstrating how to use Expernova to easily evaluate an expert dimension on a topic. And we will see how to obtain a global vision of the experts working on your topics, how to evaluate the relevance of experts' scientific and technological expertise and their networks. And we will see how to involve your collaborators around your research. But let, let's first take two short minutes to define what is a key opinion leader. The key opinion leader has emerged as an individual business. Why? Because they play a crucial role in educating community, communities and building awareness regarding the la latest key development in their fields. Moreover, they influence the perception and opinion of various stakeholders and experts. It is the collective wisdom of scientific community that give credence to both scientific expertise and the influence of these individuals. And so for companies, they became the ideal target for product adoption and advocacy. Similar to customer relation management, key opinion leader management is an essential component for marketers and research departments through the life cycle process of a specific product. At all phases of the product life cycle, the key opinion leader play a crucial role giving good indicators and feedbacks from their communities to adapt strategies, but also to prescribe and influence in early product adoption and final adoption. So we can say that a key opinion leader help companies maintaining peer-to-peer -peer relation, accelerating product adoption and advocacy at the global or national and regional level, they help companies expanding the markets and they help companies capitalizing on knowledge and reacting faster. The key opinion leader allows them to test the market reaction and companies can adapt their strategies. So in their knowledge resource management strategy to improve mind share and product development, companies have to design a key opinion leader plane, which will help them define their needs and recruit a portfolio of key opinion leader. Because you can have a different type of key opinion leader for each stage of the product cycle. How to identify a key opinion leader? First, you have to define your needs by answering the following question. What is your market? Depending the market you're entering, you might need different key opinion leader profiles. For example, you want to create a market. In this case, key opinion leader might be experts relatively new with not headline conference or speaking engagements. This profile of expert is more interested by practicing than publishing. Measuring their scientific credibility is a real challenge because those experts' reputation will grow in tandem with the product. Another example can be you want to enter in an established market. This is the most common case. Here you will search key opinion leader rising stars and leaders. A key opinion leader's rising star is an expert who enjoys the esteem of his peers. Their credibility can be evaluated by criteria such as the number of publication or patent invention. Do they receive some prizes or have they been rewarded for their works? Another example is you want to create a bridge between related markets. Here, 
we have to find experts from different domain or area of therapy for the pharmaceutical industry. Their credibility will be based on criteria such as their works, their publications or patents, their experience, and so on, into the related concern domains. Having a key opinion leader with this profile allows a company to fulfill many goals, such as, for example, the patent life extension and sales expansion. Second question you have to answer, at which stage of the product life cycle are you? Depending where you are, you might prefer established experts or rising stars. And so, which geographical zones are strategic for you? International, national, regional? It gives good indicators of political, cultural and linguistic awareness and background. So when you have defined these main guidelines, you can start identifying the key opinion leader you need. To identify <clears throat> the key opinion leaders you need, you will base your choices on different criteria such as their expertise. Have they published or invented patents? When? Have they participated or conducted clinical trials in the case of pharmaceutical researchers? You have also to look at their implementation. What is the place of establishment of their organization? In which country do they practice? And you have also to look at their influence. What is their network of influence? With whom do they have collaborated? Is it a network of experts, rather academic or industrial, international or national? All these criteria will allow you to identify the key opinion leader you need. So today, I will take you through a common use case demonstrating how to use Expernova to evaluate the dimension of an expert on a research topic. So let's go through the use case. Mycotoxins are toxic molds from microscopic fungi that contaminate many plant foods, such as fruits or cereals. Some are dangerous or even deadly. I am the R&D director of a company that manufactures phytosanitary products. My work in particular focuses on the development of fungicide to prevent mycotoxin plant contamination. Are there, as there are already products of this type, I want to find opinion leaders who have expertise on different families of mycotoxin and on treatments that prevent the contamination of raw materials experts who can explain and demonstrate the effectiveness of my fungicides to the scientific community would allow me to improve the design of my product through their knowledge. It would also allow me to gain credibility and make my product better known to the scientific community. Wishing to better penetrate the European market, I would like to find opinion leaders working in European country. So let's switch to the Expernova platform to start the search. So the first step is to start a search on our research topic. And to do so, you have to enter your query into the search field. So I will enter mycotoxin like this. And then I click on search to run the query and view the query results. So the next step is to access information via the search results interface. Let's first take a look at this result interface for this query on mycotoxin. So at the top of the screen, there is a header that displays the current query. And below, you can find six pictograms. They show you the type and the number of results for the query. So we can say on our query, Expernova has identified 35,000 experts that are working, who are working on the mycotoxin. Expernova has identified 953 organizations. In yellow, you have the scientific publication. In orange, you have the patent families. In red, you have the project. So Expernova has identified 124 projects. And green, in the green, the last icon, you have seven clinical trials related to mycotoxin. 
underneath the header, you have access to list and graph. So from the different list, you can access to the list of experts, so the person, the physical person who are interested in mycotoxin. mycotoxin. Below, you have the list of organizations which are working on mycotoxin. So you have the companies, the R&D centers, and the academics players, such as the university or the hospitals, for example. And finally, you have the list of works related to the mycotoxin, that is to say the scientific publications, the patent families, the projects, and the list of the clinical trials. So now the next step is to identify the list of individuals that work on mycotoxin and who could be potential opinion leaders on this research topic. So to do so, I will display the list of experts that are working on my research subject, and I need to click on more here in the block, in the people block. <coughs> so this is the list of people who are working on mycotoxin. So at the top of the list are the most relevant experts on my research topic who can potentially be key opinion leader on my research subject. The experts are ordered by default by relevance, but you can order them alphabetically or by number of scientific works. So you can also apply some filter to the list and uh, you can use a select countries filter in order to target a specific geographical area. In our use case, we want to identify European experts to penetrate the European market. So I need to check the Europe um, option. And you see that you can also apply this filter at the level of the country. So let's filter the list of experts by the Europe area to display only European experts on mycotoxin. So once you have applied the appropriate filters, you can export this list into an Excel format, which allows you to obtain the first custom list of European experts who are working on the mycotoxin. mycotoxin. So let's have a look on this Excel file. So this Excel file contains all the information available in the expert profile. So you have his name, first name, last name, his affiliation name, the affiliation uh, type of organization. You have all the contact details like the address, postal code, the city, the phone number, the website. And you have also at the end uh, the list of the scientific work. So we saw how to obtain a global vision of experts who are working on mycotoxin and how to create custom list of experts who work on your topic. So now we are going to verify the expertise of a person. And to do so, we are going to access a profile. So let's do it with Rudolf Koska. And to do so, click on his name to display his profile on the right. So from here, you have different information. You have his name, his affiliation, and here we can find uh, the department for which uh, the center is belonging. And so everything is clickable, so you can access to uh, the profile of the different uh, laboratories and R&D centers. On the right, you have access to the contact information here, and you can access also to the LinkedIn account of uh, the expert, if he has one, of course. Then you have also access to his expertise here, and so you can first check if, he's, uh, if he has an expertise on uh, our subject. So, for example, we can see here that he's as, he has an expertise on the mycotoxin, and so here. Then you can also access all his scientific works. So here we can see that he has published 180 scientific documents and he has invented one patent family. Then <clears throat> you have also uh, an option that allows you to display uh, expert suggestion of experts who are working on the same topics. 
It is based on the expert full expertise, and so it can allow you to find additional experts on the same topic or on related topic. And this list can also be exported. All the list of experts can be exported. Then, very important, you have the why feature. The why feature is very valuable. ExpertNova analyzes for you why this profile is considered relevant to the topic of your research through the why feature. So the why section shows you the element of analysis on the expertise of an expert profile, such as his experience, how long has he been working on the subject, and has he recently published on the subject. So uh, here, Rudolf Peschka has been working on the topic, has been working on the topic for 18 years, and he has recently published on this topic, which shows that he is still active. Then, in the people and works section, from this section, you can easily access to the work of the experts on your research topic. So we can see that Rudolf Schra has published 95 scientific publications and he has invented one patent family. And of course, it's clickable. So let's display this publication by clicking on 95 scientific documents. So Access the Expert Works allows you to better identify his expertise. Besides, you can see the publication date. This allows you to verify if, if this expert is still working. If an expert has not published for 10 years, one wonders if he's not retired. And, um, and so on this list, you have a different option, order option filter option. You have also some graphs that show you the repartition of the publication per document type. You can see also the evolution of the scientific document of this expert on the topic. And then you can also access to the list of the scientific domains from, from which are coming the publication. If you want to access a publication, just click on, it, on its title like this. And then you can click on open. So here on the publication, you can access to the metadata, such as the title, the publication date, the abstract. You have the list of the keywords and the list of the scientific domain. You have the list of the reference that were into the document. So you have some shortcut here. You can also find two links that uh, we try to find the full text. Uh, and we also put a link to access the publication on Google Scholar here. You have also the publication source. So it means that this publication is coming from PubMed. You have the list of the author of, uh, of the publication and also their affiliation. And to finish, you have a suggestion of publication on the same topic. So to access them, you just need to click on the title. Then let's go back to Rudolf Kruska uh, profile. So we saw also that he has invented a pattern family. So to access it one more time, you can click on the pattern family here to display the list of the patent families invented by Rudolf Skra. So in the same way we saw for the publication, you still have order option and filter option. And you have two graphs that gives you indication on the expertise of Rudolf Skra. So you have the evolution of the patent families made by him, and you have also the classification international to which belong the patent family. To access uh, the pattern family, just click on its title to display it on the right. And so from there, you can access to the title of the pattern family, the date of the different patents that have been filled in. Uh, you have the abstract. You have a link that allows you to retrieve the patent on Espasnet. You have also uh, the international classification to which it belongs, the list of the inventors of the patent, the list of the applicants, and suggestion of patent families on the same topic. Also, if you want to access the details of the different patents that belongs to this patent family, just go on the left menu navigation and click on the patent option to see the details of the different patents which belongs to these patent families. 
So we can see here it's exactly the same pattern, but uh, that have been filled in in different countries. So let's go back to the profile of Rudolf Kreschka. So we validated the, <coughs> the geographical area by applying a geographical filter on the list of experts working on our research topic. We verified the expertise of Rudolf Schra by accessing his works. Now let's have a look on his network because an expert who has published a lot but who has no network is not an opinion leader. So Expernova allows you to access the network of collaboration of an expert on new research topic. This allows you to easily see with whom this expert collaborates and thus it gives you clues about his network and his area or of influence. So in the network and community section here you can see that Rudolf Schra has collaborated with 254 persons, so he has collaborated or he still currently collaborates with them. We indicate you the name of his uh, best collaborator. Uh, you can see that the collaboration are located in 24 different countries, which gives you uh, an idea of his uh, influence. And Expernova has also identified that 15 experts from the University of Rudolf Schra are also working on the mycotoxin. So now let's display the collaborative network of Rudolf Schra on the mycotoxin. And to do so, you need to click on 254 connection. So you have first the graph here with Rudolf in the middle here, and all over all the person with who he has collaborated or he still collaborates. Below, you have the same information under the form of a list. So you can, the benefit of the list is you can modify the order and you can also apply some filter to target a specific geographical area. If we go into this filter, then we can have a look uh, on the collaboration. So for example, we can see that he has collaborated with uh, 120 person, Austrian person. Um, we can see in Germany, there is 21 collaboration identify. In Italy, 18. So in Netherlands, six collaboration in Netherlands, in Poland, and so on. And also 17 in the United Kingdom. You can still see in the other continents. So we can see that there are collaboration all over the world. So you can navigate uh, within his collaborative network and visualize with whom this experts collaborate or has collaborated. And um, you can also export the list of the collaboration. So to do so, just click on the export uh, feature in the left menu navigation. You can see also into the list um, the affiliation of this expert. So we can see that uh, they are essentially academic uh, as they come from the University of Natural Resources and Life Science, the same universities and Mr. Craig, or from other universities. So all this information allows us to better visualize the zone of influence of Mr. And we can say that he has mainly an academic and European network. You can access the profile uh, of, of his collaborator. And to do so, just click on the name of the person here to access his profile. And to finish, I would like to show you that, OK, we have identified that Rudolf Kra is uh, has collaborated with, for example, Gerhard Adam. OK, that's great. But what they've done together to see it, you have to click on the Open Connection button here. When you click on this button, it opens a collaboration form where you can access the details of the collaboration. So you can access their common expertise. So we can double check here that they are working on the mycotoxin. You can access their co-works. And one more time, here in the Y section, Expernova analyzes for you why this collaboration between these two experts is relevant on the mycotoxin. 
mycotoxin. So we can see that they have been collaborating for seven years and they, are, they have recently published works on the mycotoxin. And in the people and work section, Expernova provide you with the list of the certain co-publication related to the mycotoxin. And one more time, it's clickable, so you can access the list of the co-publication by clicking on this link. So let's go back to the profile of Rudolf Kra. And <clears throat> finally, we come to the third and final stage. So now that you have access to the relevant information, it is time to capitalize on the knowledge gain. And for this, the Expernova platform allows you to bookmark, export, and share document or profile or expert of profile or organization. So first, if you want to bookmark the profile of this expert, you can use this icon to create a folder where you can put all the bookmark of the profile who, are, who have an interest for you. So you just need to give a name to the folder to organize your search and to retrieve it easily later. And then here, this folder, you can uh, keep it private for you. In this case, you will click on OK, or you can share it with your colleagues. And to do so, you can use this option to share uh, with uh, your colleagues, and you can also assign some permissions. So I click on OK. And as a result, the next time I want to access the profile of Rudolf, I just need to go on the bookmark, and then you can see my folder, Mycotoxin, and then I can access easily here by clicking on Rudolf Scra to access his profile. You can do the same with the publication, and so the organization. You can also export this profile. If you want to export it in order to save it on your computer, for example, just click on export and select the PDF format. You can also share it, and to do so, click on the share function from in the left menu navigation. From there, you can, you can share it internally with your colleagues, so you just have to pick up the appropriate name into the list, or you can send it by emails or share it via the social networks or you can also generate a new URL. <clears throat> so this is the way you can share export or export a profile. And don't forget that you can also export all the lists. You can first apply the filters and then export them. So that brings me to the end of today's webinar. And to conclude, let's summarize all that we have done. So today we have seen how from a few keywords you can identify individuals that work on your research subject in just a few seconds. Then we applied filters by geographical area to target only European expert. We have accessed the profile of these experts to verify their expertise through their works, the pa their patent, their publication, their clinical trial on our research topic. We also had access to their contact details and also to expert suggestions who are working on the same subject, which allows you to identify other experts. We were also able to access the collaborative networks of this expert on our research topic to check their network and therefore their area of influence. Access to all this information allows me to verify the network and therefore the area of influence of the expert. So it allows me to identify other experts who would be likely to be leaders of opinion. And this allows me to develop my own network. Finally, we have seen how to capitalize on the acquired knowledge by bookmarking, exporting, or sharing a profile. And above all, we have seen how to use the export function to export lists of targeted experts who are likely to be leader opinion on my research subject. So it allows me to create personalized lists for contacting them. 
So I would like to highlight that I did this webinar in standard environments. However, depending on your needs, Expernova can create customized result interface, for example, with only French experts or only European experts. And if you are interested, do not hesitate to contact me. So I realize that the time is almost gone, so I propose you to go to the question. There are many questions, and I see several questions on the ranking. Um, so how does Expernova rank the experts? So to, um, the algorithm behind the search engine is including a lot of different criteria. To make it simple, let's say that the relevancy criteria are <clears throat> the number of occurrences of the keywords in the in the document. So, for example, if you have a publication with uh, 15 times the word mycotoxin, for example, uh, it will be more relevant than a publication with only one time the word mycotoxin. The position of the keyword also is important into the scientific work, whether it is in the title or in, in the description, so he won't have the same coefficient. Uh, we take into account also the type of document, that is to say a peer-reviewed article will carry more weight than a scientific poster. And lastly, we take into account the publication dates, uh, that is to say that we privilege the most recent scientific works. Um, another question. How do we know that a scientist has published or has invented some patents? So uh, you, uh, we saw that when when you enter your keyword and you run the query, you can access the list the list of the profile uh, to see what has been done by an expert on your topic. You just have to to go to the why section on the works and people section on the people and work section. Sorry, and there if. The, the expert has published or invented a patent on your topic, Expernova will provide it to you uh, through this section, People and Works. So this webinar is now finished. Uh, for the questions I did not answer, I will send you a personalized answer. Now it is your turn to use Expernova. And if you are not yet a user, please feel free to ask for a personalized demo at contact at expernova.com. Thank you very much for your time and bye-bye.